Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saikon and today we're continuing our Against the Hive campaign where I am trying desperately to not lose uh, too much whilst doing the main missions. The last one was a nail biter and actually quite difficult. These ones here are yet again missions where we need to deal with many many uh, many enemies and subpar equipment and operate this on our side intel is good the hidden uh, dark event might be bad high explosives actually is an interesting one because uh, a reaper could thrive in this environment to give you to give you an appreciation of uh, where we are we could take a reaper with us but uh, they are currently tired or alternatively I go in with a normal team it's a good question am I okay with the Reaper actually getting completely tired I potentially am to be honest so let's take that got uh, an expanded magazine little bit of a change of tactic here I think overall it's good though uh, we got Hayward uh, the DM uh, sonar snake Pliskin, and Shinrod who is going to be our healer here recover an advent item the um, the Reaper can do that relatively quickly and still get out of there if we're uh, fighting against too many enemies at the same time Plus the high explosives really um, made a difference because that allows a lot of remote starts. All right, let's give it a go. All right, and uh, we landed. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay. Should turn the camera in the right position. Uh, that is not a lot of space. Might as well be one of those ultra tightly packed maps. I've spotted an alien patrol. Ooh, okay. Well, let's see. We got that and that and that and that. Lots of explosives. So we're definitely not having a shortage of great uh, explosives. Target rich environment, as they say. That here is the best. Unfortunately, can't use it. I am trusting you. Oh, look at you. Second set of explosives. Okay, well. I'm on the move. Moving up. Shinrod is positioning himself there. Grenadier to the front line. Aggressive move in here, and Pliskin takes the good old solid full cover. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, we can't hit that far, but, but, this would be a nice extra hit. Yeah, we can only see those guys, and that's fine. I am more concerned. About all of the other topics like uh, pulling that second pack okay uh, easy but not useful easy but not useful okay uh, I think we're going to s I decided we're going to start with a double whammy which is 
Wemmy into another Wemmy and that should almost kill most of them. Oh yeah, well hello there. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go through a couple of motions here. Four starters. Let's kill this guy. Then, heavy mech. Oh, 90% shot missed. I see how it is. Well, we're going to try that again. take that extra hack because I want uh, the towers to be disabled. Gives our uh, Reaper a bit more chance to freely roam. And to be honest, just getting some extra supplies never hurts. Nope, we're not going to do that, but we're very much going to do that. Cool. Done deal. This looks like a trap. Let's just try to get this guy down. Okay, cool. See? Don't even need it that. Don't want to pull anything, so... The name of the game here is... Careful moving, uh, careful movement forward. Oh, look at you. More enemies. Please just stay there, will you? Of course you won't. Of course you won't. Now stay around here. It's gonna be fine. Trust me. Okay, so what are we dealing with? We have lots of explosions. So we could take all three out there. That would only hit one. That would hit two. How is this here not hitting, oh, it's hitting everyone. Okay, cool. Good, because that's eight points of damage. I don't want to deal with those stupid codices. Which means eight plus 12 is 20, AKA good night. Bam. Thank you. To be honest, the 50-50 stun is actually quite good. 
because now it can't react. Well, that's that was perfect. That was marvelous. Solid hit, and let's kill it. Okay, it can dodge when it is stunned. Bit of a weird mechanic, but whatever. Um, that Archon needs to be blinded. We can deal with him in a second. But yeah, this one here is going to be an auto kill. Doesn't matter that the loot is destroyed, that was so worth it. Oh, we got untouchable, which means we only need to hit and then we're good. Going here. Damn right. That worked out well. And I tell you what, we're just going to suppress him, but we're playing efficient. Nah. Mm. Let's move to here. And just in case he does blazing pinions, despite being suppressed and disoriented. Stacks, by the way, so he has not a lot of potential to hit anyone. 5%-ish. Quite a stupid mistake of him to just take the shot, but on the other hand, what was he supposed to do? Free reload, and let's continue to blast him. Shinrod, full cover, moves up. And that might be the kill we were looking for. Bam! 10 points of damage. Hello there. Earned his promotion? I would say so, yeah. Damn, should have hacked that tower. Oh, super dangerous. Don't want to deal with that. Instead, um, let's reload and wait here for now. Here I come. Overwatch. Over Going it. for a full cover over there. Going for some light cover over here. So just trying to put an active like fire line in place. So happy that we do have the Reaper. This would have been way more difficult without him. Good. Carefully opening the door. Uh, and let's move in. Moving up with Pliskin. Overwatch. I'm free reloading, although I had an extra shot, but not a big deal. Cool. Well, that could solve a major issue for us. Let's hack the chest. Oh, enemy protocol. Oh, really good. I think we can't hack it from afar, can we? Let's just double check that. Okay. 
No. Hmm, too far away. Okay, does Netta... Might as well sh try to go for the dark events. Oh, look at you! Oh, that was good. But we're hunkering down next turn. Next turn we can reconceal. They might move here and then we will need to... Okay, we won't. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, not worth carrying an item. Uh, hmm. Well. Can we drop the item? I don't want to trigger the entire enemy pack. Hmm. Hmm. Good question. I mean, this would be awesome as a remote start. Can't really trigger anything here. Uh, good question. Let's move a bit over here. they really just blocking us here <laughs> okay running and gunning no, no, yes, go. Of course. Dodged it. Kill that one. Let's put a Mimic Beacon out. I don't like to stand in the open. could hit one but that would likely not um, work in our favor Roger. good moving away over here overwatch more overwatch And this should kill the assault. Oh, come on. Down to one, really? Very good. Okay. I 
unfortunately technical analysis doesn't do a lot for codices they just mostly ignore it and yeah the clones are never technical analyzed anyways On the flip side, luckily for us, Mimic Beacons are relatively good uh, against uh, Codices because they don't deal a lot of damage. I don't want to move out because I know exactly that that is going to be very dangerous and painful. Let's just get that one down. No. Uh, good question. We'll check that in a second, Who, uh, which of the two we can actually hit. I think what I want to do is prevent the Codex from splitting best way of doing that is with blinding protocol and then it's a 50 50 okay decent damage could suppress the mamba fighting out of the car which is super cool this is for you. remove more cover I don't want to go because I know there is another pack right good we're overwatching and now the name of the game is Suppression on the Member. Moving up for Shinrod, so but we're a bit clearer. Why is there still one of them left over? Yeah, untouchable baby. No, no, no. Oh yeah, this escalated quickly into a big fat fight. I like it. We do have Shredder, and I wonder, besides like this here. This should not trigger, right? Okay, okay. We can still explode it if uh, need be. Carefully moving over here, not triggering anything. And that should be the, the end of the Codex. Good lord, 15 points of damage, that's not bad. My 
Bomber takes damage. And I just want to kill it. Okay, we're not exploding it because the other pack isn't triggered yet. cover whatsoever but there is also no pack so maybe I can go there to then take the full cover soon uh, that's a solid hit but thanks to their abnormally high armor not much came from it Alright, combat protocol into an overwatch I think now. and I'm just suppressing him so that he can't throw a grenade. You can't me. Okay, well that works as well. There's the culprit uh, responsible for the shields, and of course, they came forward just when we needed it the least. Moving ever so further away from this guy Take this. don't want to go through a lot of headache here remove cover hit him Closer, Plisket does kill him. Okay, we're as you can see, we have uh, now very much shifted. It's always a matter of uh, getting the right angles, taking space. Full cover. This here could be a great hit. But it could also suck, who knows. Uh, friendly fire? Yeah, only the resource that we no longer need. Interesting, okay. It's killing time. Stepping off. We do have a ghost grenade and I'm willing to use that in order to back in. get us back. On Overwatch. Overwatch. Pretty sure the Uh, the stupid gatekeeper is just waiting there. Let's move already. Overwatch. Nice field. Got it covered. 
Of course. Who would have guessed? Not sure why they are even getting free uh, shots because we were not in range uh, when they were triggering but okay whatever good so we do have a fallback uh, with uh, the ghost grenade which I am totally intending to use Good, but before we're doing that, let's start with a couple of really simple tasks, shall we? Gatekeeper definitely needs to die. Hit the armor. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Very good. A bit of a blinding protocol to the back line. And then Haywire finishes this guy. Now we're going for the trooper next. Okay, didn't work out, fair enough. Continuing to arrest the trooper. Let's see if that will put us into concealment, despite that you typically can't conceal. No, it fully overrides it. Hopefully. Hmm, not close enough. Now, of course, the remote start would absolutely be fantastic. But I think instead... We just take a sting shot. Setting this guy up for the future. I'm not going to lose concealment anyways. DM should be fully in concealment. I really don't understand it. Stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. When they get home, we'll have to give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. Okay, really don't understand that. deal a lot of damage but no one is in range that's unfortunate
You gotta deal somehow with the DM. But also with the Lancer here. Okay, we don't want to deal with a purifier later. Hmm. Difficult choice. just prepping because I don't want a grenade to hit us that's a kill luckily not revealing us Stunning, but uh, solves our mind control problem. Is anyone coming closer? Trooper, sector, soldier, not sure. Yeah, I think we need to kill this guy. Mm. Now that's going to hurt because I know exactly what he's going to throw a grenade. Yeah. All right, back. Needed to take a short break, so that's a tricky situation to be in. Uh, luckily for us, we do have adrenaline rush into a solid healing. There we go. That solves uh, the initial problem. Now we still do have. That stupid sector it is an issue. And I am looking for something to explode, which unfortunately is not happening. Um, the purif elite purifier is Generally speaking, a problem, but not the biggest one. The sector and the mind control needs to be broken now. No, no, no. Not good. What we could do here is to basically suppress all of them, which is fine, but it won't solve our other problem, which then again... We can take care of right here. start moving, out. moving over
over here. Can that be a kill? I think yes. Oh no. We're going to be discovered. <sighs> Very unfortunate. Shinrod moves up. There we go, finally. Took a while. Definitely took a while. Reloads, kills this guy. Theoretically could move to here, could also move to here, which wouldn't be too bad. I think that's a good start. Full cover, decent position overall. Very nice. And I think we just want to suppress. He's also burning, and on top of that, he is suppressed. Untouchable, baby. All right, I hope that is it. move over here time to heal up sonar and reload watch move up I'm pretty sure that has been it Ooh. Yeah, the last pack in particular we w was a combination of a glitch, the, uh, the ghost grenade hasn't fully worked on our ranger, plus a uh, mm, string of really bad shots and it was a difficult pack. So all of that unfortunately sometimes accumulates. But we have uh, successfully beaten the mission despite it being really really difficult. Cool. Sonar. Heat grenade warheads. Fabulous. We'll take that for more shredding. Yeah, I'm not really using any of the extra grenades. And Shinrod, I think applied knowledge would be great. Sure, why not? Uh, yeah, I want that here, emergency aid on top of it, but that'll cost a couple more points. And we got plenty. Made whole would have meant uh, the Chosens have no weakness, so that was actually a completely uh, completely redundant uh, mm, dark event, so yeah, never mind. 
Okay, I haven't played in a while, so what was our idea? We wanted to make contact over here, generally speaking. Yes, please. Okay. Cool. Got enough intel. Munition expert isn't really that helpful for us, but voluntary army might be incredibly helpful. So might as well put the tower there and make sure that we get that continent bonus. Good. More intel for us. Didn't trigger a breakthrough, unfortunately. I think we're going this for gatekeeper autopsy just so that we can do the break, uh, get a breakthrough. Uh, but we're overriding it with actual research. Venom rounds, okay. Well, I wonder, one of the mods allowed us to build like ultra venom rounds. But that was in our last campaign, so I think that wouldn't ha um, happen here. EMP bombs might not be too bad. Let's get one of them. Because, uh, fun fact, most people don't know it, but EMP bombs remove shields. And they have a quite a sizable radius. So it might be the right call here to go for it rest is off the table anyways oh the the ufo is still out there okay bleeding would suck and the hidden event might suck as well who knows I wonder if we still need live fire training. I think the answer is no for now. And instead get a chance uh, that Advent will join us, which actually is really, really good. Okay, the Avatar project is uh, starting up again. Let me just double check something real quick. Covid action. Uh, yeah, we need a few more hours to get that one done. And then we should be okay. Tariq Gafar. Oh, I hate VIP missions, so pointless. Uh, I don't need an engineer, but I also don't want to lose our uh, our territory there because it will cost us too much to reclaim it. So it's essentially more a mission to keep us quote unquote in the game instead of yeah, really it being a great mission. I bet you 27 looks low. There's definitely again an alien ruler. Potentially the Berserker Queen, uh, so that that would be my initial reaction and unfortunately for us The real interesting mission needs to wait This here uh, this year sucks because uh, that yeah, we're We're a bit um, bit too far away from um, from that actual mission we need to first do the VIP rescue and then we can do the storyline mission reduce avatar progress might be interesting facility lead supplies superior weapon upgrade so just from the res uh, from the rewards I think the only topics that I'd be really interested in is form soldier bond for uh, Hogbite and reduce the avatar project just so that we don't need to do another um, facility. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, I need to come up with an idea of what we're going to do in the next mission, but 
I'll uh, think about something potentially using ghost grenades again to just get out of there. Uh, sucks, but what are you supposed to do? Alright, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoy the content, uh, sneak over to the like button and step it. Uh, and let me know if you were successful in your backstab. Thanks and have a good one. Bye-bye.